Welcome to the Hummingbird Cottage. Today I want to share with you one of my favorite painting processes. Now what makes this painting process so special is that it's done on a single canvas by the entire community. It's completely collaborative. I love for the children to work together to contribute to something that will go for the entire community. So much of the art children do is personal and they get to take it home. It's so incredible when the work they do is for everyone. and for everyone to enjoy. Most of the parents mentioned to me on the first day at the Hummingbird Cottage, when I had a glue tray out, that their children loved to paint. So I had a good idea this would be a winner. Now, this painting process has two distinct steps. The painting of the canvas, step one, and then step two, the potion making. Now, I purchased a canvas at a local craft store on sale. Often I'll use a coupon to get it reduced. The key to this process is to pick the paint palette now, I wanted this painting to hang in the cottage, so I picked the colors that would harmonize. I use acrylic craft paint, and there are hundreds of colors to choose from. Just check your local craft store. Now, you can let the children paint the base coat on the canvas over a series of days. I have gone as long as a week with the canvas laying out and the layering of paint and color. The layering of that color and the different ways the children make their markings with paint, oh my gosh, it just turns out so beautiful. The second step is potion making. You can use so many different things for this. In this case, we use droppers of watered down paint, squeeze bottles of watered down glue, glitter, crushed leaves, and rose petals. The children loved mixing the ingredients. You know how much they love potion making. In our discussion afterwards, they asked for even more potion making supplies. So a few tips. They mixed far more potion than we could possibly use on the canvas. So I do manage how much gets poured on the canvas. They have complete choice where to pour. But I will say, pour a bit, but not too much. And we'll stop a child if it looks like they're going to dump their jar full of potion. It just doesn't work to let the potions go crazy. Wendell took the potion making to a completely different level, mixing in the gold paint and mixing his own colors. Oh my gosh, I love the gold leaf on the canvas. After the children left, I made sure the roses and leaves were secure by just pressing them into the glue potion. Oh my gosh, the results always amaze me. Isn't it stunning? I've had paintings auctioned off 
Parents have purchased them by buying classroom supplies. They're just extraordinary. Children are so free in this process. And let me tell you, there's no way I could create that kind of beauty. It is surely the gift of young children. If you're inspired by this community process art painting, give it a try. I'm Sally Hoy. Thank you for dropping by the Hummingbird Cottage, where children lead the play. I'll see you next time. Hey, don't forget to hit the bell below and subscribe because every Thursday, a new video comes out. All right, we'll see you next Thursday.